Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about a spindle. Spindle is a very ancient instrument used for spinning. It is creating thread. Spindles are normally made out of wood and come in many forms, although the most basic is pretty much a long stick with one pointy end and a little heavier other end. In uh, Russian tradition they call the pointy end of a spindle a tip, a toe even, a toe. And the thicker part of the spindle, the more uh, heavier one is called a foot. So, perhaps <clears throat> people named it because it does resemble in length, at least, a human foot. Uh, so, uh, spindle has its unique ability to spin, which actually differs it from any other instruments used in a spiritual practice because we're going to be talking about spindles used in a spiritual practice in my videos uh, not just mundane spinning so the spindle's main, pro main property is its ability to spin it may spin clockwise or counterclockwise to spin it counterclockwise, you may want to take it in a non-dominant hand. It is a lot easier that way. So, uh, <clears throat> by spinning, the spindle connects us to the two currents that are known in uh, spiritual practices of many people. The ascending current, the current of the earth, that spirals down from below and goes upwards in a counterclockwise manner and the other one is the descending current the current that comes from the sky it spirals downwards in a clockwise manner by working with the spindle we have the opportunity to connect with these currents and since spindles are traditionally attributed to Makosh, the Slavic goddess of fate, work with a spindle is work with fate, destiny, including your past, your present, and your future. Now, speaking of the technical details, spindles can come in many shapes. It could, they could be thin, like this one. This is more of a southern version. The spindle that I'm holding is actually a Russian spindle. And this is the ones we're using in our practice. There are spindles of many other shapes and forms. However, these are the ones we're using in our spiritual practice. So, this is a southern type of a spindle. A long, skinny stick, traditionally made out of birch wood, but could be made out, out, out of other types of wood too. And there might be some thicker ones, which are more common farther north, in northern Russia, for example. This is an example of a northern spindle. Spindles could be newly made like the one I'm showing right now it's a relatively new spindle created for spinning and sp spiritual work specifically uh, or there might be antique spindles let me see if I can find one here uh, for example right there I have a bunch of thread I've spun on it, but this is an antique Ukrainian spindle. 
I'm not sure about the wood uh, here, so I can't tell you for sure what it is made out of. And speaking of the basket that I'm keeping my spindles in, this is called machesnik or machechnik. And it is a traditional basket that uh, ancient Slavs, or I guess I would say Russians, because that's the ones I would know about for sure, used to keep their spindles and their fibers and ready-made uh, balls of yarn that they called mochka, which is why it's called machesnik something that holds the mochka and they kept it all in this convenient basket back in the days the girl used to take such a basket and go to a cabin where they would all gather for a bee and she would sit and work there with the help of a spindle, fiber and something that is called a die staff this is a die staff it typically consists out of two parts, a foot on which the girl sits and a paddle to which the fiber is attached. So the back side of the die staff used to be really fancily decorated. Mine is really antique so you can barely see the ornament on it but I assure you that it was there once. You could see little bits of it still. So this is the die staff. However, since we're talking about spiritual practice with the spindle, and this and the consequent videos, I wouldn't be showing how to spin. Even though I strongly recommend those who own a spindle before they try any of the spiritual practices that I'm going to offer here in my videos that they first try to sit down with their spindle and spin it in their hands clockwise and counterclockwise and see how it feels. What could help with this would be this lovely plate. You can start your spindle on the plate and watch it spin. It's actually a lot easier if you set it down on a some firm surface and then you just start the spindle and watch it spin in one direction and in the other direction. That's one happy, happy spindle. Spins really, really well. So this is all that I wanted to tell you about in my first video devoted to spindles and I hope you'll stay tuned in for more videos to come and thank you for watching and bye!